Alright, a builder's note. Alright. The coupling goes to the back, not this way. Alright, this way. And notice the spot. And it all pretty much matches up how they fit right in there. I'd like to find them little locks right there. So, uh, I'm getting ready to do that. That's next. And I'll put that on, and then that'll be taken care of. I need to get some tape and look like them, I guess. I don't know. I really like to wait to the very last minute to do this. But those little dudes right there just snap in and out. Uh, you take a screwdriver, and you put them on the back side right here, and you just pop them up. <laughs> you hit me in the eyeball, because <laughs> I'm looking straight down at it. <laughs> but that's going to be a piece of cake. Well... A little bit of three and one oil on the, all the oil rings up here when I put them in and then when I get ready to install it in the intake a little three and one oil there a little three and one oil in the slots and should just slip right in there <clears throat> and the problem will be just trying to keep uh, shit from getting on these right here now, they're probably good but uh, I'm only doing this one time. I ain't going to keep doing it over and over and over. Yeah. All right, y'all. Enjoy. We have, I pulled this out right here. The knock sensor. There's just a fraction of difference in the uh, new one that I bought and the old one. Let's get it right here. Ah. Hold on. There. 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 Now, this one's just a fuzz bit bigger than this one right here. But like I said, them dadgum numbers match up. But the problem is, they won't go in that hole. You can see it right there. So I'll have to take it to Napa and get that in, uh, exact match for that right there. Because this coil on, it goes underneath the coil packs, and I ain't screwing with that once I get all that shit put together and get it in the motor. I mean, in the truck. Uh, so I lost uh, $11 right here, no big deal. Uh, the rest of it, everything is perfect. Uh, these were individual buys, so I'm good to go. The strange thing is, is the numbers matched up on it. This on the body itself didn't have a number on it, but the numbers on eBay matched up, so what do you do? Look at that, that's the same. Look at that, that's the same. For sure it is. Well, no, that one's off to the left a little bit. See how the groove is? Oh, that's identical. My bad. So, if it had fit the block, uh, it'd work. <laughs> but it won't. Uh, we got the... Uh, lifter retaining God rod guides in. They're good. So, you know, I can move the engine up and down now without fear of a lifter popping out of the damn thing. And then, uh, well, I put oil in here. We'll let it seep a little bit. And then tonight, I'll get real frisky and uh, put the head and the head gasket and all that together and suck all that out and uh, get ready. But I want it to get down in them rings. I want it to go to each one of the rings and seep out. It will. It'll eventually uh, go down through there because there is just a slight little gap on those rings. All right, y'all, peace. Nanny, nanny, shots, bot, and all that other good shit. Uh, I'm fixing to go out and start cutting the road. Bye.